Hi everyone and welcome to Exam Revision. In this video we're going to have a look at the layout of the Leaving Certificate Chemistry exam for 2021 and some tips for tackling the paper. On the paper there will be two sections, section A and section B. Section A will comprise of three questions which are mainly based on experiments and section B will comprise of eight questions. You have to answer any six questions on the paper and there is no restriction on how many questions you have to answer from each section. Each question on the paper is worth 50 marks, so that leaves us with a total of 300 marks available on this paper. The exam is three hours long, which totals to 180 minutes. So I recommend the following breakdown of times. You should spend 10 minutes at the start of the exam reading through the paper and this is extremely important this year that you read the paper carefully and decide which questions suit you best to do. Then I always leave 10 minutes at the end of the exam to go back over any gaps that you may have left or to reflect on your answers to make sure you're maximising your marks. And then you should spend approximately 25 minutes on each question that you do. If you stick with this timing, it will leave you with 10 minutes to spare that you can use to your own discretion within the exam. It's important to remember that all questions in this exam carry equal marks, so you should spend the same amount of time on each question. Now you might get some questions done quicker than others because you may be more comfortable with that topic and that's okay, but you should not go over 25 minutes on any one question. So let's take a look at the paper layout now and what topics come up in each question. Section A consists of three questions and they are all experiment based. Question one will always be a titration. Question two will always come from your organic chemistry experiments. And question three I always label as other because any of the other experiments can come up in that question. So if we look at question one in section A, as I've said already, it is your titrations question. And here I've listed all the possible questions that could come up within this question. These include knowledge on making a standard solution and using that standard solution to find the concentration of an unknown solution. Common questions for here include acid base titrations with ethanoic acid and finding the water of crystallization in hydrated sodium carbonate oxidation reduction titrations which involve ammonium iron 2 sulfate and potassium permanganate or iron tablets or a standard solution of sodium thiosulfate. We can also be asked here to calculate the percentage weight per volume of sodium hypochlorite present in bleach and also water titrations can appear here including the measuring of hardness in a sample of water using EDTA or measuring the level of dissolved oxygen present in water. A top tip that I have for titrations and question one is to know your indicator and colour changes and also to know how to complete calculations via first principles. Question two in section A centres on your organic chemistry experiments. These include the preparation and properties of ethene and ethine, the heat of reaction between HCl and NaOH, clove oil, soap, benzoic acid and testing properties of ethanol and ethanoic acid. Some chromatography can also appear in this question. A top tip for the organic experiments question is to know how to calculate your percentage yield and know your reagents and catalysts that are used in these experiments. The final question in section A is question three, and question three consists of any other experiments on the Leave Insert Chemistry course. Question three is usually split into multiple parts, which can comprise of flame tests, tests for anions, finding the relative molecular mass of a volatile liquid. Rates of reaction experiments can also appear here, as can your equilibrium experiments. Determination of the level of free chlorine in swimming pool water, or suspended solids and dissolved solids from your water chapter can also appear here. Section B of the chemistry paper consists of eight questions. Question four has internal choice. Questions five to nine do not have internal choice and questions 10 and 11 do have internal choice. 
So if we look at question four, question four consists of 12 parts of which you have to answer eight. So only eight parts of the 12 will be marked. Part L this year will be from the option. The top tip I have for question four is to answer as many parts as you can, but you need to ensure that you're getting eight of them correct. The examiner can only count your top eight answers in this question. So it's important that you get eight of them correct or you are losing a lot of marks in that question. Question five is based on the atom periodic table, including trends and its history, bonding and radioactivity. And question six comes from organic chemistry, in particular, the fuels and thermochemistry sections. A top tip for question six will be to revise Hess's law and the heat of neutralization calculation, as one of those comes up every year. For question seven, eight and nine in section B, one of these questions will be organic chemistry based and it will be based on the families and reactions. This is usually question eight. A top tip I have for this organic chemistry question is to know your families and your reaction types, but it's also important to know your reagents and your catalysts. The other two questions in this section can include topics, but is not limited to rates of reaction, equilibrium, water, acids and bases, and pH. So these are the topics that appear most frequently, but obviously other topics could appear here Question 10 and 11 in section B have some choice involved in them. Question 10, there will be three parts and you have to answer two. And in question 11, there will be four parts and you have to answer two. And that fourth part, part D, will be from the option on the course. Typical topics that come up in questions 10 and 11 are atomic theory, equilibrium, acids, bases, pH, stoichiometry, water, electrochemistry, organic chemistry, properties of gases and oxidation and reduction. But again, we are not limited to these topics within these questions. These are just the topics that come up most frequently. To finish up, here's some top tips for your Leave and Cert chemistry exam. This year, you only need to answer six questions. So I recommend that you answer those six questions only. You answer them well. You must remember it's quality over quantity. I would recommend using any excess time to read over your questions and make sure that you've answered them to the highest standard possible. You should be answering the six best questions that you feel you can do on the paper. Particularly when it comes to calculations, it's important to ensure you show all steps in your calculations as there does be marks going for individual steps within calculations, in particular the calculation of any relative molecular masses. Any diagrams that you draw should be fully labelled and that means there should be a minimum of five labels on any diagram. All graphs should be drawn on graph paper. And it's important to remember that you should answer what is asked in the question and to look out for certain questions that will have multiple parts to them that are not labelled. To finish up, a neat and tidy layout is favourable for your corrector as it makes your answers easy to read. So if you need any guidance for Leaving Cert Chemistry, don't forget you can get in touch with us here at Exam Revision. We're on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and YouTube. And of course, you can visit our online learning platform, examrevision.ie, where you will get access to the full Leaving Certificate Chemistry course done out in video format, H1 standard notes, PowerPoint presentations, and of course, self-correcting quizzes and access to previous exam papers. So I wish you all the very best of luck with the Leaving Certificate Chemistry exam for 2021.